Good morning, Church. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. I want to talk a devo- share a devotion entitled "Are You Struggling with Change?" Are you struggling with change? You know, when we talk about part two of personal growth, one of the things that we need to look into is change. So, are you struggling with change? Because without change, we can't we we, we can't grow. We need to change in certain areas of in order to uh, cushion or uh, you know, uh, make for growth in our lives. Second Corinthians three verse eighteen says, "But we all with unveiled faces, beholding as in a mirror the gr- the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord." Amen. You know they say a rut is just a grave with the ends kicked out one more time they say or people say you know a rock is a rock is just a grave with the ends kicked out and once you get into a rock it's hard to get out a routine a bondage a stay still it's hard to get out especially if it is comfortable but you will never become what God wants you to be or all that you could be as long as you resist change and insist on staying as you are. You know, people who resist change and do not want to adapt to new environment and new things being done in our lives, uh, you realize that they stay where they are, they rot. They will not be able to move forward many christians many churches are like that there are two kinds of change two one the change you personally must make the change you personally must make you know astronaut james irvin says you might think going to the moon was the most scientific project ever but they literally threw us in the direction of the moon we had to adjust our course every 10 minutes and landed only 50 feet inside the 500 miles radius of our target. On the mission, every change, no matter how small, was essential to success. Let's face it, we disliked change. So we try to resist or postpone it as long as possible. One more time, no matter how small, you know, how uh, difficult change may be, change is essential to success. So therefore, yet in the end, is the only thing that brings growth. Change in life, change in thought, change in the way we think. Change in the way we live, change in the way we serve God, change in the way we are as Christians is the only thing that brings growth as we walk with the Lord. Proverbs 13 verse 18 says, Whoever disregards discipline comes to poverty and shame, but whoever heeds correction or change is honored. Amen. Wise people listen to here. To me, wise people are willing to change their minds. Wise people are willing to change their minds. But the foolish never do. Remember this. Number two, change only God can make. Just now change your personal, you personally must make. Now change only God can make. God's goal for your life and my life is to develop in us the character, quality, qualities of Jesus. And since that cannot be accomplished through self-effort, His Word says in 2 Corinthians 3 and verse 18 this, listen, But we all with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory by the Spirit of the Lord. Listen here. What brings about change? Drawing on God's power each day 
of our life and with the willingness to say, yes, God, I know it, I know it, and I want change. I want to improve. I want to be better. I want to change the way I think, the way I walk, the way I live, the way I behave, you know, the way I serve, uh, the way I, I, I communicate with people so that I can be a better person. I can change to become a better person. Remember this. Are you struggling with change? If you are, remember those things. There are only change. There are changes only you and I can personally make, must make. Number two, God change only. The change only God can make. When you and I are willing to change, you know what? God will work in you. He will empower you, energize you to make changes in your life. He will grant you the grace to change into His likeness, to be more like Him and be more God-like. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we pray to help us to change. And in changing, it's tough and difficult. But help us to rely on your grace and your strength and allow you to help us, empower us to change our lives, our walk, and our way, our attitude, and our lifestyle is in you and the way we serve so that we can be more like you. All this we pray and bless us with a great day in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.